Good evening, board members. My name is Kim Allen from the Battlefield District, but I'm speaking tonight as the County K-12 Library Liaison. I would like to thank Mark Taylor and the board for the work that has already been accomplished to secure increased funding for our schools, pay raises for staff, budgeting for additional staff, especially in special education, and working to maintain our health coverage without a cost increase. Thank you to everyone involved with finance and budget work. Unfortunately, I cannot praise every area of your work yet, but I do have hope. The board is voting on revisions to the selection and review of instructional materials policy tonight. But you should not adopt this poorly written, ambiguous, and antiquated policy. I've spoken with several of you personally, including Mr. Taylor, and you were made aware that a great deal of research and writing had already started on this policy long before the first reconsideration began. But the work was tabled by central office. But here we are with a mediocre and lazy revision to the policy. And I wanna know why the editor didn't seek input from library professionals, administrators fielding the reconsiderations, instructional leadership, or from our diverse community members and parents. We do have more than just one important stakeholder. This entire policy needs modernization. Just adding in the sexually explicit definitions and a few questions regarding sexually explicit material does not come close to addressing all the issues with the policy and regulations. It actually creates issues since Virginia Code states that the provisions of this act shall not be construed as requiring or providing for the censoring of books in public elementary and secondary schools. Here are a few suggestions. First, this should be called selection and review of instructional materials and library materials. Then go back and read the questions that the reconsideration committee members must answer when they meet as a committee. Do they even make sense to you? Committee members noted frustration with the questions, but this revision doesn't address those issues. Did the person editing this policy, Mr. Russell, even look at the complaint form? It was written in the 90s when we still use film strips and it doesn't capture all the information that we need from the complainant. CPS can do better than this. My biggest concern is that the revisions do not address the reconsideration process. Why are there no revisions? So one mom can continue to exhaust school personnel and potential committee members and lead her assault on our libraries and librarians? I am asking this board to wait on this policy as presented and let's work together as a team. Ms. Allen, to forgive produce, me for interrupting, but your time is expired. Finished. Let's work together as a team to produce a policy and regulations that make sense Uh, Ms. Phelps, we moving forward here? 